I've always enjoyed cooking and uh, I think a lot of that comes from my grandmother and my great aunts who are wonderful cooks and uh, wonderful hostesses. And I saw what could happen when food was good and uh, served with love and how much uh, joy that brought into the house, how much joy it brought into um, into the guests who came, came to visit. And, you know, my grandparents and my great aunts were not particularly wealthy people, um, so I'm, I'm not saying there were huge feasts there, but it, it, what was cooked was cooked with love, was cooked well, and um, was always enjoyed. So I think that started me on um, this whole path of, of cooking as love and, and cooking as a emotionally sustaining as well as uh, physically sustaining. <laughs> So I've always cooked. I cooked uh, for myself, for friends. I cooked for my family, my children. I, I still cook for my children, even though they're grown up and have families of their own. I cook for Eddie. I, I baked a ton of cookies um, for Christmas uh, for everybody. I, I just, it's something I enjoy, personally enjoy. I find it personally fulfilling and um, just a nice way to, to bring a little bit of happiness into people's lives. <laughs> But over the years, I have started noticing something, and I, I notice it more, I think, the older I get, and that is the uh, huge financial disparities between people nowadays, which was not as apparent when I was younger, and I don't think existed as much as when I was younger. I think between the um, wage disparities and people trying to make ends meet on Social Security and on disability and the rising cost of housing, it has pushed a lot of people into uh, financial situations and really terrifying financial situations that maybe a generation ago they would not have been in. I see um, Facebook posts from people, you know, in some of my groups, the groups that I belong to, you know, I have $10 for the next three days. I have two teenagers. Uh, what do I do? What can I, I feed them? How can I, I make this work? I see uh, older people with you know, by the time they've paid everything, they have $100 left for the entire month for everything that isn't rent or medical. Um, there's just so many situations, people living in RVs, people living in cars, people living in, in rooms without full cooking capacities, just all sorts of situations, financially devastating situations that I, I find personally heartbreaking and um, hard to, to look away from. So the purpose of this channel is to kind of share the my enjoyment of cooking. I do enjoy cooking and, and to put a spin on it to make it accessible for people who maybe don't have every type of cooking appliance at their at their ready, who um, just, you know, maybe just have a crock pot or a small dorm refrigerator to work out of or who are living in a circumstance that doesn't allow a lot of... Uh, fancy cooking. I do all my shopping. I do a lot of my shopping actually at, at Dollar Tree, Walmart, um, uh, grocery outlet, always looking for the best deal. And, and I hope that I can um, let you know what those best deals are too, to keep costs down. Because even if um, you are keeping costs down, you can still enjoy your meals and still bring that joy of eating and company and food and and richness into your life, and um, my hope is that, that cha this channel will, will help you realize that a little bit. 